And good evening. Thank you for being here with me tonight at 6. I'm Lorenzo Hall. First up tonight, we're learning more about a Prince William County pilot killed in a crash northwest of Richmond. The private plane carrying John Latham and a passenger from Fairfax County crashed in the woods in Palmyra, Virginia, Sunday morning. Investigators are still figuring out what went wrong, but tonight, our Matthew Torres is talking to a friend who knew the pilot for many years about the work he did to help the community. Tonight, this is how Cal Brown is remembering his longtime friend of 20 plus years, 63 year old John Latham, playing golf for charity events. Love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, goodness, kindness, generosity, self-control. He was salt of the earth. But Sunday morning, the private twin engine plane Latham was flying with his 73 year old passenger Nia Ben Ivor Burke crashed in a county west of Richmond. They were flying to South Carolina for the Manassas Regional Airport where the passenger also had a plane, according to the airport's director. It was just a real shocker. Um, it got me emotionally and I tried to calm down. The National Transportation Safety Board tells WSA 9 two investigators arrived at the scene today to document the wreckage before moving it to a facility, while an early report will be released within a month. The NTSB won't announce the final cause for at least within the next two years. He was a strong believer in Jesus Christ and loved God and loved his family. Tonight, friends are focusing their attention on what Latham meant and did for the community. He was a commercial real estate agent and property manager from Prince William County. Friends describe him as a hard worker who devoted his time to helping people, whether that's his church or senior citizens. I know that he donated food to people. Um, I know that he flew senior citizens that needed help around. Just soft-spoken did a lot of good for a lot of people, but he didn't brag about it. He just he just did it. An avid pilot and golfer leaving behind a grieving family. I will just miss that. That relationship that was just always there. Matthew Torres W USA 9 and the NTSB says it needs help with finding an engine propeller and other parts that fell as it was flying near Miles Jackson Road in Fluvanna County.